Okay, envelope envelope time today. Okay, this is one I cut down um, that was already cut down, so I'm going to use that because the tea staining is nice on that, and I quite like it. And it's a nice thick envelope. It was a bit split here, so I just put a bit of tape on it. This is the one I printed um, from the page I put up on the Facebook group. Um, this is on inkjet, so it's going to bleed whatever I do with this because it's only copier paper, it's not matte, matte photo paper. So don't bleed quite so much, but I'm not going to worry about it, okay? I'm just going to go for it and I'm going to do them both up anyway. So you might not even see much, you know, in it, the design anyway, all right? But I'm going to spray with coffee mixture inside like that and i'm also going to put a bit on here as well okay there's a few drips and stuff and that. okay you see it comes through but i don't mind that so i'm going to dry this off first because i am going to try and keep it a little bit on the dry side yeah and then i'm going to ink up and then use water again okay ink up I uh, use vintage photo okay. um, I'm not worrying about this because that's going to be up there okay it's only going to be sort of this area for the inside so it's not 100% dry what I'm doing here uh, I'm also going to ink up everywhere. Okay. Have fun. No, I haven't got any gesso on this one, so. And I have to re stitch the bottom. <laughs> it was one of those ones I most probably trimmed for something else and then didn't use it, so. a bit heavy there didn't I but that's all right you can splash a bit of water on that okay or a bit of tea I might do a bit of tea and a bit of water so I want to do that that'll because this is water based so and a bit over there that's age it a bit okay and where is my tissue okay I've got two nice grungy envelopes now okay that's all done um, so what I'm going to do now is, um, I think I will glue that one together now. Um, if I do any stitching on this one, I will do it on the top there. But I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the with it yet. Because I'm going to, you know, do some background stamping. 
and this is quite thick paper actually this one put some napkin on and that sort of thing all right to to go with what we're, we're doing Let's Ah, that was right. This was the envelope that was a bit short down here. Okay, I remember now. They're not like that now. Because <laughs> I, when I done it, I thought, oh, I left that a bit short. So I altered it before I put it onto Facebook. But what I'm going to do is actually... Um, no, I'll put the lace on the top because it'll be lumpy. I'm going to put some lace on. Just makes use of that, doesn't it? Rather than cutting it up, considering I cut it out and everything. <laughs> okay, that's that. And we have this one. So we'll work on now the actual here. Yep, yeah. and I'm going to do some stamping. I've got a little text stamp. Any text stamp will do, really. I'm going to start off with vintage photo. Okay, I might use a little bit of ground expression, ground espresso, I'm not sure. Okay, and I'm just going to just literally, actually, that's perfect there, look. No. Um, right, going to have a stamp here. So I will come down a bit there. Some on the top. And I'll do a bit here as well. And might even just just a little bit. In there, just to follow through. Yeah, and the same with this one. Look there, even though I have a stamp up there. I mean, some of this is going to be covered with the napkins. Nothing else, All right? I'm gonna put the stamp on. If you haven't got stamps, then um, I have a kit uh, stamp. Oh, that was one of the Oddman kits. I'm not sure which one, but I got stamps in there. And if you print them out onto paper and cut them round with your scissors or tear them, it doesn't matter. Um, that will fine. I just want to use some of the stamps because. I've got quite a few, so, okay, napkin time, right, so it's sort of bird, it's nature, so I've got that and I've got these hanging around, I'm sure I haven't used any of this for a bit.
See, I like this. Oh, for quickness, I use the Tim Holtz. Collage Medium, I should say, by Tim Holtz. <laughs> Not worrying too much, just to get enough there to stick this down. And because I've used archival ink, this doesn't move. So. That's there. Where is it going to go? It's going to go. That's going to be this side. So it's going to be here. Okay. Quite nice. That there, that. Okay, dry that off. Okay, it's still a bit damp. Right, I'm going to put something over here. It's quite fancy, that little pink flower there. I know you can do it all together, but sometimes I don't don't see it until I've dried it and then I thought, oh yeah, didn't do that or I've forgotten or you know, so if you know exactly what you're doing before then it's great. But I never do. It's more my things evolve. <laughs> okay. And then oh do you know what I'm gonna do? some of those little pink flowers I've got one there Yep, like that. And it's, I'm just thinking about where it's going in. It's going that way there. Okay. And we're definitely going to have something on here. So that big, which I've got up there. Should we not have that? No. I quite like this pink, this yellow here. Now I'm sort of like, if you know what I mean, I'm getting into it now. 
and I'm seeing where things need to be. Whereas when I first start doing things, I'm very sort of, I'm quite rigid in what I'm doing. And then I get into it and it sort of like starts to flow. Like there's quite a hole here. Not It's not a hole, but <laughs> it was like the ink, the way that it went. And it just made me think, do you know what? Something nicer looking there. And it'll be sort of swirling around. Try not to get it too wet, just the tissue. Okay, that's going to look like that. So I'm going to do another one, but coming up around there. Oh, very good. Oh, I'll tell you what I've got. I've got this. That's where I use it. And we'll do the other one while that's drying. Okay. I'll sand that off after. Okay, let's do the other one. Right, I feel like I want a bird. I want a bird <laughs> on this one. What have I got here? Oh gosh, gosh, we've got up that, that, that one, haven't we? Yeah, it's quite blue, but it's got a bit yellow in it, so that's right. Um, I'm not sure what I'm putting up. That's yeah, right. I'm keeping that quite simple because we've got this here going. This looks absolutely great now. <laughs> really like that. Right, let's just get rid of that. Um, right, which way is this going in? Okay, so that's done. All right, and then I'm going to do something down here, I think. I think I found these um, birds, napkins, a few years ago, but it was on um, eBay, I think. I just type in bird napkins and see what comes out. And I quite like these because they have the name on them. And they were nice to just cut out or tear out. Yep, that's fine. I'm going to overdo it so I can do a little bit more stamping. So... I do sand. Lots and a lot of people don't do this, but I actually do like it. But please don't do this if it's not 100% dry. I'm being a bit careful, so don't do it too much on here because you'll go through the paper. <laughs>
and sometimes you do need to go over it with ink but I'm quite lucky this time yep not bad at all right this one did I dry it all no I'll be that hardly any on their mind okay the sun's coming in right what are we doing now okay this one i'm just gonna stitch around that bit there okay this one we know we've got i've got stitched around the bottom because that has been torn and cut and then i will stitch around that and i think a little bit more stamping so look at this one first and then we can I can put a little bit embellishment up here so I don't want to put one down here because I'm putting one up there I think because that's going to go in like that yeah and the embellishment's going to be up there that's good all right let's have our little stamps right now you're going to use um black black archival for the top layer or black soot I'm going to stick that on because that's going to I'm not using this one but it's going to get lost so I'll stick that on <clears throat> And now this is Grand Espresso. I'm going to just put a few more words dotted around as well. Just a bit darker to give an, an extra layer. Okay, because I'm going to put some up there, you see. I think that's fine. Yep. Fine, fine, fine. Fine, fine, fine. Okay, right. Where are we going to put the little list? Me, I have no idea which one that is. And it's like black soot. What's that one? What's that one? <laughs> Get them muddled up, do we? Okay, so the embellishment most probably. Go around here. I'm going to leave that for a minute. So, 
I'm not sure what I'm going to put on there until I've put the embellishment on that one. Put a bit of snippet or something. So, but there's plenty on there for a minute. I can always fill in after. Yeah. And that one's pretty good. So. Hey, sorry about the glare again. The sunshine. Um, right, what was we going to do? Okay, yeah, I got some bits. That was one of my little snippets here. That's going to go on the back. This is going to go at the front. Now, these, I don't know whether you noticed me do it, but when I have my paper sewn together, I sometimes tear them off and use the paper because I like them all. And then I'm left with these bits. Now, these make brilliant um, embellishments. <laughs> they really do. And I do use them all the time. Oh. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, it's quite fragile, that bit. <laughs> oh, I've inked up that. Okay, I try and put it together. I liked the shape of that bit. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sort of missing a bit down here. See, I've got a hole there now. Okay, that's great. And then a little bit of lace in that tiny little one up there, I think. Quite fancy bit of lace hanging over there. And I'll uh, be going like that, so. with that and then I will I'm I'm stitching around I was going to stitch around that but I'm not going to now I don't think no I won't I'm going to leave it I don't need to that looks okay and that looks all right I'm just wondering whether to put a few of these you know what's coming handy I am. I am. Let's go for it. Yep. Perfect. Right. This one I'd already stuck down. I'm definitely stitching around there. And then I've got this one. So because I liked, this was one I've already pre-made. But because I liked the way that looked and it looked right in the page because I, I think I put it in, I think it goes in like that. Okay, and it looked okay. And I quite like that. So what I feel is, and this pink on the page that's opposite, I might, I'll put a few more of this here. Yeah, and fill in there. All right, it's just, that's just the way it's happened. And I just think that looks right. So I'm not going to worry about what's underneath and I'm going to go for it. So I do not worry about if it looks right when I cover it up. And let's have that like that. Oops. Yeah, and then I had a 
had some pink ones, didn't I? Uh, I don't think there's any pink here. No. And stamp. Ground, ground espresso. Right, I'm going to stitch around that and put a little bit of lace. Oh, there we go. That'll do. <laughs> put a bit of lace there. Okay, they're done. I did stitch around that in the end. I felt better, you know, I felt like I wanted to do that. So that's that one. Okay. And this is this one. And now they're going in the journal. I mean, some people think, oh, that's a lot of work just for two envelopes. You can do a load together. Um, I tend to, because I enjoy the process, so to me that's what makes junk journaling great for me is that I can spend time on two envelopes. I can, I'll spend a couple of hours on a couple of tags, you know, yeah, I can make hundreds or, you know, like literally really quick. But if I've got a particular design, I can just go through and knock them up like I used to card making. Um, but I, no, I'm not keen on that. I like to just, um, you know, play around, have a bit of fun and that sort of thing, really. Oh, I've got to do something on there, haven't I? Right. Um, okay. That was that one there. Um, which one did we put there? Uh, that one, I think. Okay. The, I've got two pins in here at the moment because I found these that match the journal. So I need to swap the paper clips around. So this is going to go in here, like that. So that matches that nicely. And I've got so much glare in my eyes at the moment, so you have to excuse me. I actually can't see. <laughs> I have to get something up at the window for the sunny days because it's going to get earlier and earlier and longer and longer, isn't it? I'm just going to add those some for a couple of days. Yeah, I'm only putting two there because I'm going to swap them around. And that is there. I haven't finished that yet. So that's that one. And the other one is somewhere. <laughs> and I think we're it. I'm going to go. Oh, I'm going to narrow this because it's too big. Um, I'm going to say it's getting full. So I'm going to back everything and come back to you, maybe a little bit more embellishment, a bit of washi tape and things like that, dotted around. And that'll be this journal done. It was there. Okay, got to trim that down and everything. That's one of Yvonne's tags and it went beautifully with this journal. It's like, oh, that's so nice. <laughs> And see, yeah. Oh, did I have? No, it was the other way around. It was. Sorry, folks. Ignore me. Why? Because that is very similar shape. Okay. So, and I put pink on the other one. That looks better, yeah. Because it's different shapes rather than very similar. So that is that one. It's broke this one. <laughs> or bent, I should say. But anyway, I'll show you how that one looks now. Uh, there we go. And that's that. Yeah, nice. 
and then for this one looks better like that yeah and then we've got the bit of pink brought in there I like it okay let's see see what I mean <laughs> that's it <laughs> I don't think I get many embellishments in it myself, but I'll try and do some flat ones. Okay, right. Well, thank you very much for watching then. Hope you enjoyed that and, you know, saw my process of how I do my envelopes and things. And I'll speak to you all later. Bye.